I get it guys. You're an EXP Realty, you've been using KV Core for forever, and now Chime is a shiny object that's right there, and we're switching over to that, with good reason, I would say. But the big question is, how do we get our contacts from KV Core into Chime? Let's dig in. What's up, guys? Lou here. Okay, we are going to get our contacts out of uh, KV Core today and move them into Chime. So it's a fairly simple um, setup but there are a couple of caveats that you should know. All of your information, all your past, um, you know, correspondence, all your past like listing activities and stuff, they will not transfer. You are actually just going to be transferring like names, addresses, you know, email addresses, phone numbers, and that good stuff. So just keep that in mind. Whenever you switch CRM, it's always the same thing. When I moved over here, I was using Follow Up Boss and I moved over to KV Core and it was starting from scratch. So keep that in mind. I believe it's gonna be worth it for Chime for what EXP are gonna roll out with this. Um, so keep that in mind, but here is how you do it. So let's start in KV Core. That's where all our leads are. So obviously we're gonna be coming into Smart CRM. And then very, very simple. All we're gonna do is come over to More Actions right here, click, and then we're gonna to go to Expert, uh, Export Contacts. Click that, and it'll tell you, yep, all these contacts here and we're going to export them export and it'll take a few minutes to get this all right within a couple of minutes here um, this will hit your inbox right here a lead export has been shared with you is from kv core and what we're going to do now is download this um, right here so it's a csv file and we're going to download it just by clicking and it will come into right here. So it's a nice csv file it's all ready to go already so then we're just going to come up to chime in Chime, we're going to go to People. And then we're going to again click on the three dots right here. Click Import Leads. And then from there, uh, you can drag and drop it or I can just click here. Go to Downloads. It's the top one for me right there. Open this. And as you can see, it'll give me all of the people in here. Now they're blurred out obviously for privacy, but um, you can choose to match up uh, the field names with the file column. So. For instance, first name in Chime is going to be the first name in the column that KV Core has exported and so on and so forth, okay? So one thing you'll see, guys, is it will import tags as hashtags. So the hashtags that you had in um, KV Core, it will import them as tags. Now, if you don't want that, guys, all you have to do is click on here and you'll go do not import. So I'll click that and it will go do not import, okay? So anything that you don't want in there, you can just hit do not import, but I would recommend scrolling down for all of this just to see you might have information in there that I don't have. It's always best just to scroll down and see what is going on. But like I said before, guys, I've got simple name, last name, email, status, at least status is there, right? Deal type, if it's a buyer, seller, whatever. Source, um, if it's from Lead Import or Zillow or whatever you get your source from, it'll keep that. Um, homeowner status and all these different things. So it's going to find out as much information as humanly possible. Um, and then you can go from there. So once you've done all this, guys, come all the way down to the bottom. Bink. And you'll see next, you're going to click here. Then it's going to give us some options here. If you want to add them all to a group. So, you know, you click on here, you add them to some kind of group or whatever you want to do there. Assign the lead. So if you're working with a team, you can assign them to certain um, agents that are, are in your group. You can also assign them to a lender as well. If you have a lender here in your system, uh, skip duplicates or merge them. Permission to call, which is a really big one, guys. If you know if you have permission to call and, and, and opt in there, definitely mark these because obviously we want the system to be able to text and, and to help us call people. If, if they aren't all good to go for calling, you do not want to mark yes. You're going to have to go through them and do it. Um, and then you're going to agree to this and then click on the blue button, import, and then they come through like that. Now I have already done mine. So you can see they come in as new leads and you're going to have to click on them and start sorting them out and go through it like that. Again, it's going to be a tedious process. It always is when you switch CRMs, unfortunately. But I do think that this is going to be worth it for me, especially in our business. I think Chime is going to be a huge part of that with everything that it's capable of that we're going to put videos out on soon. Definitely worthwhile checking out for 25 bucks a month if you're at eXp. If you want to get our weekly newsletter on productivity for realtors, there's a link below that you can opt in and I will see you on the next one.